happy, happy April 1st. Holy mackerel. It's April. Yeah, I've got my act together today, starting early, which is fabulous and um, feels so good. So um, we're gonna hop right in. Um, the month of April is like a seven universal month when you do the numerology. And um, what this means is that there's, it's bringing in higher wisdom, learning, and spiritual evolution is the number seven. Um, so that's great, but there are some details in there that, um, you know, I'll uh, reveal in a couple of minutes. Um, so there's a new moon that happens on um, Friday, um, April 5th, um, which is, you know, a really great time to plant seeds um, of new intention. It's a great fresh start, um, start something new, be creative and um, strengthen yourself. So that's kind of what the new moon's gonna be bringing in on Friday, so that gives you a little sneak peek into that. Um, so this universal month of, of seven um, is also about being, speaking our truth. Um, it's having a deeper awareness of our thoughts and feelings. Are we in alignment with ourselves? Um, are we in the now and then in, a, in alignment? Hey, Melanie, how's it going? Um, so, so this month of April is these first couple of weeks, we're actually in the post-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. Um, so there's still some reflection going on, um, which is great, really great. Um, a gift always, you know? How do we live more sacredly in our own truth? And, and we can pose that question in meditation or prayer, um, we can just pose it and not answer it and allow the answers to come to us. So that's a good one to use. You know, how, um, how can I more optimally live more sacredly in love and in truth? So, so this month is a, partly about going within. Again, um, it's still going to be a little more inner guided instead of outward guided. Um, having honesty and integrity with ourselves, really checking in with yourself. Like when you get triggered, check in with yourself. Um, I was with family last week, which is always just the best trigger ever, right? Like they trigger you right and left and um, and it wasn't right and left maybe, but but there was definitely some moments. And, and it's such an amazing feeling to know that that is a reflection of what's happening with me. It really has nothing to do with them. And so you can come at it then from a totally different vantage point. So this month of April, which is also my birth month, um, is about joy and peace, love and balance. And so um, enjoy that. Um, no more pretending, no more living in the illusion, which we've definitely been pushed this Mercury retrograde. And we're, you know, in that post shadow phase. But wow, have we been pushed uh, this, you know, this last month um, in that way. So um, a great way to start each day and to, to, move through this, um, easier is always with gratitude. Always, always, always. We can always find something to be grateful for every day and it literally starts an expansion right at that moment when you shift things to what am I grateful for? The sun is out. I have clean water. Um, I got to wake up in my house or in this comfortable bed. Um, I'm grateful for my family or my animals, uh, my significant other. When you start in that place, it completely shifts your day immediately. So, um, so yes, yeah, so this is a month of introspection, going within, um, embracing the changes that Mercury retrograde kind of brought a lot to the surface. And now we get to embrace those changes and move into that flow. Um, it is 
this is a great month to, um, hey Steph, oh that is so sweet. That's so sweet, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful that I've known you since high school and that we are on this path together. It's so freaking cool actually. Anyway, okay, so new ways of looking at things and looking at things not through fear. So that's a big part of a post Mercury retrograde moment is we were, many of us were confronted with a lot of different fears during Mercury retrograde and um, we can now have a bigger perspective um, and not uh, and choose not to look at it at, at things, life, moments, triggers through fear. Um, this is a month to avoid impulsivity, avoid reactivity, avoid holding on and, and being grippy and feeling that kind of resistance um, which of course is fear, it's underlying fear. So when you start to feel grippy, when you're tense, when you're holding on, when you're wanting a certain outcome, um, uh, when you want these lines between your eyes to relax, <laughs> um, let go, let go into it and, um, and, and just, um, Take some breaths in. Really, that's the best way to handle it. Okay, let's move on to some specifics. We're using ginger this week. Ginger is a super, super cool oil because it instills accountability and empowerment. So it empowers us to create new choices. And doesn't that just fit perfectly with April? Um, you can really use ginger in terms of, um, you know, in all ways, right? Um, uh, you can use it internally, you can use it topically, although I, it's a little bit of a hot oil, so I would dilute it, and then you can also use it in your diffuser. So it goes really well with florals. I love it, um, you know, ginger with geranium, I love, of course, everything with frankincense, um, with sandalwood, which helps with connection with the divine. So those are some options. Um, anyway, ginger, really amazing. Um, it also, you know, ginger helps us to digest, right? So it's gonna help us to digest our lives, to be able to incorporate, integrate what we've learned um, through this mercury retrograde into our lives, into our bodies. So realize that ginger also has that more physical chemical aspect to it. Um, really powerful oil. Okay, this is our gemstone of the week, labradorite. Wah, wah. Okay, you guys know how much I'm, I'm insane for labradorite. Absolutely insane, I love it. So this is one of a couple that I have. Um, it's really not an expensive stone um, to get. It is so delicious. I just, anyway, so I, I keep, I have a beautiful necklace that a dear goddess friend gave to me. I have this ring. Um, I wear it all the time. Um, so it increases extrasensory perception. It expands our perception and it expands our awareness. And I just can feel that when I'm holding it, I can feel it when I'm wearing it. Um, and, and that has such a ripple effect out into our world of being in a place of expansion instead of contraction, instead of grippy, instead of judgment, instead of ugh holding on to that tug of war rope. When you're in expansion, you can breathe, your heart is open. Um, when you are ex um, aware of these other senses that we also have, when you can really feel into your heart and we keep practicing that, we, um, we have less resistance. We can be more compassionate towards ourselves and towards others. Um, it activates multiple levels of consciousness um, and it really brings magic into your life. And 
gosh, I just love that. I love magic every single day. I want magic all day, every single day. So enjoy using your Labradorite. It's fabulous. All right, here are cards of the week. Um, the first one is Lemuria, um, you know, coming from our um, uh, Naomi, Naomi Campbell, our Oracle of the Light cards. God, why am I forgetting the name? Anyway, it doesn't really matter, I guess. All right, but Lemuria is the card, which is we are creating heaven on earth. Lemuria is one of those lost lands, like Atlantis, of Earth. And um, it was, as it, as it says, it was heaven on Earth, um, supposedly. And, and um, many of us have had past lives in Lemuria. So we do have like a, uh, a memory. We do have a memory of it. And so some, some, some of us and others have memories of other heaven on earth type um, situations. So um, it brings in harmony and uh, because it was a time of harmony and a time of where all beings will, were equal, where there was a reverence for mother earth. Um, so this card is reminding us of that and that to heal our planet, we need to heal ourselves. Um, so we always start with ourselves and when we heal ourselves again, we are That we bring every place we go. We bring our energy first, right? That I just saw that um, written someplace and was like exactly the moment We are even thinking about going to the supermarket to an appointment to work to um, a yoga class in that moment, our energy goes to that place. What is your energy like? Where are you at? Are you in harmony or are you um, in resistance? Um, so are you in fear or are you in love? So just be very aware because we really, um, we transfer our energy uh, in that moment and we affect every single molecule and every being in the spaces that we cohabitate and co-occupy with people. So it's critical to be, you know, at our best, to practice being at our best as much as we can. Okay, next, what do I resist feeling right now? Hello, exactly, this is what we've been talking about. So, what we're resisting thinking about or feeling about is um, actually really the shadow of our personalities and we all have it. We all have dark areas of ourselves. Um, and if we allow ourselves to feel it also, you know, this is the flip side of it is um, when we are feeling resistance to allow ourselves like, okay, what am I feeling resistance about? What am I feeling triggered about? You know, and then allowing ourselves to maybe feel sad or to feel frustrated, to feel angry, journal about it, get those feelings out, then maybe move your body, you know, do some exercise, go out and get some fresh air. Um, you know, use essential oils, especially, um, do some yoga, um, do some breathing exercises. So that those are great ways to release after you have allowed yourself to embrace these um, resistant type feelings. And then, then it's way easier to move on. All right, next card, Fox. Foxy Fox, looks like Winnie. All right, so Fox is about adaptability, which is, again, perfect for April as we are integrating these, what we have learned from Mercury retrograde. We're still dealing with the post-shadow phase of it. We are um, changing. We are creating heaven on earth and harmony on earth. We need adaptability. There's so much change going on right now in so many people's lives. Um, so to have 
to be in a place of adaptability and compassion. Use all the tools, the life lessons, your intuition, right? Use your Labradorite for magic and more intuition, um, self-knowledge so that you don't get stuck, so that you can easily maneuver around perceived um, challenges, right? Um, we don't want to be in our old patterning and our old ways of handling things and our old ways of saying no to everything. Um, that kind of rigidness um, and holding on to stuff. I know so many people who are like moving and getting rid of all of their stuff. Doesn't that sound so delicious? So, you know, even if you're not moving, um, what can you do to simplify to this is a great month to declutter, right? The spring cleaning. Um, I'm not suggesting that you do a ton of cleaning, but you know what I mean clean out the stuff. Um, so we can easily shift um, and be more flexible. Uh, and so um, allow those possibilities. Trust that you're fine. Um, that by you adapting, you're completely fine. Okay, final card is Raven, which is, don't you love it, is all about magic. I know, it's so fun to pick these cards and then to see how they all integrate and communicate with themselves and I just love it. Okay, so this is bringing in more magic, also prayer and meditation, and which is really communication with spirit. So this is also a month like I had talked about in the, begin in the very way beginning about, you know, some in introspection, going within, sitting with yourself, meditation, um, more self-knowledge and understanding. So this is confirmate, more confirmation of that, is to sit in the silence, um, to cease that brain chatter. I'm going to float today. That's like one of the only places that I really can just not have my brain be on. Um, you know, reconnect with the universe, with the divine, with our very own God spark that we all are born with and is innate to all of us, delve into this void of yourself for your answers. Um, asking spirit for help, um, starting with prayer or meditation, starting with gratitude and honoring the place and, and the moment that you're in, um, honoring Mother Earth and all of her creatures, when we do all of this, we come closer to that place of wisdom in ourselves and self-knowledge and, um, and ultimately clarity of purpose, right? So um, I am sending huge love and light to all of you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, inspirational, purpose-driven week. And um, I so look forward to seeing all of you back here in one week. Take good care. Love you guys. Bye.